Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered whether wild animals get fat? To be honest, many animals are already fat. Really fat. But they don't have health problems. Those roles of fat are actually a survival strategy. Whales, seals and walruses all have a thick layer of blubber to insulate them against cold water. It's so effective that some species of whale can thrive in temperatures as low as 4 degrees Celsius. If they were to slim down, they'd likely freeze to death. Blubber actually has huge advantages over fur, which many other animals use to keep warm, because in deep water all of the air gets compressed out of the fur, making it almost useless at trapping heat. Blubber also aids buoyancy. Scientists from the University of North Carolina believe that dolphins use it to make them more efficient swimmers. But all of the blubbery marine mammals maintain a relatively constant weight. Brown bears, however, yo-yo like they're on a series of fad diets. In preparation for hibernation, they pile on the pounds. In fact, throughout autumn, they will consume as much as 40 kilograms of food a day to gain weight. The more fat they can gain before hibernation, the better their chance of getting through the winter. It really is a case of survival of the fattest. By the end of their hibernation period, having eaten very little, if anything at all, they will have lost as much as half of their body weight. The truth is, animals don't get fat unless it's likely to prolong their lives. Imagine a fat cheetah. It would be unable to catch a gazelle, unable to feed, and before long it would lose weight and shrink back to normal size. Even animals that don't hunt for food find it difficult to get fat. Elephants may appear to be in the triple XL category, however, they're anything but. The leaves and grasses they eat are so low in nutrients, they have to consume vast quantities of them just to sustain life. As a result, they need large stomachs just to cope with the copious amounts of food. It's like pouring a sachet of instant soup into a swimming pool. There's very little content for the quantity of food. Basically, life is tough and access to excess is rare in the natural world. But of course, things are different for the domesticated animal. There are many individual cases of fat pets. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But the problem seems to be more widespread. A study from the University of Alabama showed that 12 distinct populations of eight different mammals, including domestic pets, lab animals and feral rats, have all gained weight over the last few decades. Rats in Baltimore were found to be 40% heavier in 2006 than in 1948, most likely because scraps are more abundant. Overfeeding may also be behind the weight gain of our cats and dogs, but lead researcher David Allison believes that temperature may play a part. It's well known amongst pig farmers that it's easy to fatten a hog when the temperature is just right. Too hot and they lose their appetite, too cold and they shiver and lose weight. Our homes are a much more consistent temperature than they were in the past, meaning it may be easier for domesticated animals to get fat. Either way, we're not the only species with weight issues. Subscribe for all of our latest videos and I'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Mount Everest sits on top of an enormous plateau, giving it a 5,000 metre head start on other peaks. So many people argue that a mountain should be measured from its base. If this is the case, Everest is dwarfed by Mount McKinley, the tallest mountain in North America. It sits on a low plain and rises 5,900 metres from its base to its peak. 